Police in Thunder Bay, Ontario, are investigating a video that appears to show a police officer striking a teenager who is strapped to a stretcher. It's not clear what led up to the incident or why the person is strapped down. The teenager has been identified as a 17-year-old from a First Nations community north of Thunder Bay. First Nations leaders are calling for an independent investigation. And we've got Arthi Paul working on the story. So, Arthi, what are we hearing from police today? Well, Andrew... Uh, what we are hearing from police is that they are investigating this video that made the rounds on social media over the course of the weekend. And then CBC obtained this video as well. And that was that longer clip that we played for our viewers here. They say they are looking into the circumstances that led up to that apparent altercation between the police officer and the 17-year-old who is strapped into that stretcher. Um, but right now, from that video, you can't really tell what exactly transpired. And certainly, we don't know what the situation was before. There are a lot of questions. For example, uh, one is why did this particular teen need medical attention at the time and why were they strapped into that medical gurney? But for our viewers, because that video goes so for fast. I do just want to replay that tape and allow them to take a closer look at exactly what is happening. So let's watch that. I don't know why she decided to stop me start being combative here. You're just going you. to the hospital. You're going to the hospital. What's That's the... a so you got there on camera. Do spit on me. You do not spit on me. So you can see there again that sort of confrontation as the camera pans up is when you see what appears to look like the police officer striking this 17-year-old. Now, the Nishwabe Aski Nation, which represents 49 First Nations in Northern Ontario, uh, has said that they would like this to be investigated and also has uh, identified that this 17-year-old was attending school at the Mattawa Learning Centre, which is why they may have been in the city in Thunder Bay. And uh, so it is something that is being looked into. CBC has made calls uh, to the child youth advocate as well as to police uh, and to the other independent uh, investigators out there. We are expecting that there may be a, an update from police this afternoon, Andrew. So what's the response from the First Nations community? Well, you know, there's been quite a history of tension between the First Nations community in this particular area and the police. There have been situations that have occurred that an independent investigator has been needed to be called in to rectify those sorts of situations and isolate some of the problem spots. In this particular case, here is what we are hearing from the community. They say in a statement that was issued last night that we are outraged by the actions of the officer depicted in this video. We do not know all of the details that led to the incident, but there is simply no justification for such violent and callous treatment of a youth in such a defenseless position. Going on to say that such actions by police, whatever the cause, must be fully investigated by an independent authority and results made public by the chief of police. Andrew. All right, uh, Arthi, thank you. You're welcome.